Okay, I know Emily is about to enjoy some good ballpark food. She's live at Midway Stadium for the St. Paul Saints opening day. And one thing I know about Emily, there are three <laughs> things that Emily Engberg must have at yes. every baseball game. Are you ready for it? She must have a I'm beer. Ready. She must have some nachos and she must have a hot dog. I've got a fourth thing. You got it. I've got a fourth thing. A scorecard because you don't know any of the players' names. Hey, that's not very nice. No, is that right, that though? Right now. That was very Come rude. on now. Emily knows a lot What's about baseball. Okay. Yeah, Johnny. <laughs> All right, guess what? It's going to be war after this. But I do have some fun facts that you may not know, John. So do you have any idea how many players have gone on to the majors from here? Uh, any idea? Yeah, uh, take a guess. Uh, da, 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 da. From the Saints. I'm going to say it's gonna, around. From the Saints. I'm going to say it's around five. Nope, 20. That's Whoa, and 100, yeah, quite a few. And 100 have gone back to major league organizations. Six announcers have gone on to the big leagues from here. They even had the first woman to pitch with an all-male league, which I think is pretty awesome, and the first blind announcer here. So there's a lot of cool things about the Saints that you may not know. This is the 20th season, but I have to tell you, as fun as it is to watch the guys play baseball here because they're good players, this place isn't all about baseball. It's about good old-fashioned family fun. When you walk through the gates here at Midway Stadium, you know you're in for something unique. After all, where else will you be welcomed by a sign that says neckties prohibited? And this is a no-wave zone. A lot of people think, oh, baseball's kind of a boring game. Well, there's, there's about a third of the crowd that's dimly aware that baseball is happening near them. This ballpark has a special energy thanks to guys like The Nerd and Al. Al Vegas. Al Vegas. Entertain Eric extraordinaire with great hair. Yeah. That's me. Please don't touch me. Very uncomfortable. You're laughing. This, this is an uncomfortable laugh. This is, this is the laugh I get before I throw up, usually. Bye-bye. This is not your favorite job at the end of the year. You're doing something wrong. Forget being affected. They're infected with this kind of thing called joy and laughter. Mike Veck is co-owner of the Saints. He knows not everyone that walks in is coming to watch the game. Most people are coming for theater. And that's okay. In fact, it's welcomed. Life is a very serious thing. The Saints are not. We know our place. It's a philosophy that Mike says fits the other leader of the Saints, co-owner and comedian Bill Murray. Except he doesn't for It relates to his work. You know, every night was improv. And who's better at that than somebody who comes from Saturday Night Live? All the little activities going on in between innings. So do you really like baseball or do you come for all the activities? We like baseball, but coming to the Saints game and all the activities, it's a good change of pace. Not only are the games fun, but they're affordable. Ticket prices have only been raised three times, and this is the 20th season. People need a place where they don't have to take out a second mortgage on their house to go to a sporting event, and we fill that niche. You know, I I've been there. You only get three or four innings with your children before they want to go do something interesting. Well, here, your children rule. You know, we don't have expensive tickets, so nobody's yelling at kids for crawling over them or sneaking into the box seats. We invite it. The motto here is fun is good, and just sitting with Mike in his secret seats by the press box, you realize that it's also important, even if it's at a baseball game. Well, you know that this is now no longer a secret. Now that you told people where your seats are and that this is the best seat in the house, guess where I'm sitting this weekend? With us? <laughs> yeah. You provide the beer? That's it. <laughs> I'm all over it. Yay. He's going to be sorry he invited me and showed me those seats because I'm coming to the game tomorrow night and I'm going to go harass him. But if you've never been out here, it is a really good time. And if you love baseball, you get the best of both worlds, the game and also all of the entertainment. So I grew up in something very similar, so that's why I love coming out here. It is a blast. And here's the best part about this. The Saints have been nice enough to offer a deal for all of you. You come out here anytime for a home game this month in May, you get a deal for $26. You get two reserve tickets, two sodas, two hot dogs, and two Saints ball caps. So you can even sport the gear and support the local team. John and Elizabeth. Everybody around here saying, oh, that's a good deal. That's a great I, I, deal. I'll tell you something about the Saints, too. There were, there were some times when the Twins were not playing well in the Metrodome. Yeah. Where they were, the Saints were drawing almost as many people as the Twins were in the Metrodome. 
And yeah. a lot of people thought when Target Field came along that appeal of the Saints being outdoors would go away and they might go away, but that's not been the case at all since Target Field opened up. In fact, there's a lot of talk about the Saints maybe getting a new stadium, so I got to give them a lot of credit for that. Yeah, and that's a big push. And Mike was jokingly saying that, you know, we know where our place is. We like to have fun. But he said we are the only team that doesn't have a new stadium. So maybe that will happen. He's definitely I, keeping his fingers crossed. I know he and, wants uh, one. Hopefully okay. I'll get John Elizabeth to come hang out with me at one of these games. Absolutely. You say the day and I'll be out there. Thank you so much, Emily. And again,